Hello everyone and welcome to a new episode of Surprise Guest kung saan ang uh, bawat episode ay isang malaking sorpresa. Today is no different dahil malalaman na natin kung sino ating surprise guest na aba ay nagpaparamdam na. <laughs> so surprise guest, hello and as of now, good morning to you. Hi! Uh, well, actually, good evening. Oh, good evening. Nasa ibang bansa ka ba, surprise guest? Paminsan-minsan. Paminsan-minsan. Surprise guest, ito ba ang totoong boses mo? 100% hindi. <laughs> eh, paano ko mahuhulaan? Uh, actually, uh, na-surprise din ako, no? Alam ko na kung sino surprise guest natin. Pero... <laughs> Isa pa nga, isa pa nga. Oh, ano yung ano? Bigyan mo ako isa pang clue surprise guest. I guess uh, mahilig ako mag-drama. <clears throat> uh, yeah. I, I love... Drama sa totoong buhay o as a profession? Drama sa totoong buhay dahil uh, minsan ang dami kong mga anak na nagda-drama sa akin eh. Sir, wait, okay. <laughs> Surprise guest, kino-confuse mo ako kasi natatakot ako magkamali. One more clue, one more clue. Meron akong apat na anak. Okay, alam ka na. Drew Arellano. <laughs> Hi, Drew. <laughs> What's up, I'm good. How are you? I'm very good. Actually, na-surprise din ako dahil kakasabi na sa akin. So normally, si Pia would actually do the intro but you can actually try to change your voice. And <laughs> I tried my best. So, your best was good enough. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> Ang galing, hindi. You know, I had the feeling ikaw yon. Kaya lang, eh, syempre nakakatakot magkamali because it's happened before <laughs> na nagkamali ako. Although, alam mo, no, si Ian na guest siya, I guessed right away that it was her. But nga ba? Bakit ko na-guess agad na si I? I think also doon sa clue na marami siyang anak. <laughs> oh. Wait, how are you, Drew? Grabe, I, the last time I saw you, hindi ka pa ata father of four. Baka father of one ka pa lang noon. Yeah, that's true. I mean, it's been a while. I don't frequent GMA anymore. I mean, the studio and the office per se. But although sometimes when I do like shoots for BI, which is like, oh my God, one out of 100, you know. The last time we did like a shoot uh, for Biahe, which was just spills in, in GMA, mm. I saw Sila Connie. Like, oh my ah, God, it's been wow. such a trip. This has been forever. And uh, yeah, like you. I mean, we haven't seen each other for such like a super long time. Like, I think the last time was unang hirit pa. Baka nga. Pero, Drew, this is our Father's Day special. which That's why very fitting oh. na ikaw ang aming special surprise guest for today. Oh, wow, wow, wow. Uh-oh. wow. But, alam mo, Drew, I remember, I mean, when I first met you, ano unang hirit? Several, I mean, decades ago? Hindi naman decades ago. Several years ago. <laughs> yeah. I remember you already, parang we're super fond of kids. Basta bata yung guest, talagang you would play with them. Na kahit off cam ha, hindi yung pang acting lang. You really like kids, di ba? Yeah, we, we grew up having that. I don't know, maybe it was probably our dad. Kasi yung papa namin mahilig talaga sa mga bata eh. So, of course, not just towards us, the kids, but to any kid, you know, like whenever he'd see like a uh, cute kid, like, Lalo na kapag chubby, di ba? I mean, parating, <laughs> oh, nakakagigil. I don't know, maybe it was passed on to us. Even my sibs also, may, mahilig kami sa mga bata. Kahit makukulit, yung kukulitin mo din. So, medyo it was pretty normal for us to act like that towards kids. Dahil nga, mm-hmm. ganun kami lumaki. Was it always part of your plan, you and Ia, to have... Lots of kids or parang nagkataon na lang? <laughs> Absolutely not. Yeah, I think we were aiming for one muna. And then the second one, kung naging girl si Leon, then I think that would have been it. You know, Primo and Leona, okay na. <laughs> <laughs> well, naging lalaki. So parang let's, let's try another one. Kung babae, di okay na. So we thought union but although we uh, parang we we kind of felt like it at this by the way we were we weren't vocal about this but we just like didn't say na parang no we don't want the fourth one so parang kusang nangyari na lang din dudu or astro happened during the pandemic so they yeah, w- w- what a blessing so nakita talaga kayo ng girl yeah yeah after after leon talagang we were really you know, praying for a girl to the point na it was the only kid na hindi namin inalam yung gender not until na lumabas na. Ah, okay. Super. I, and then the whole time, Ia thought na, lalaki na naman to, lalaki na naman to. So anyway, I was just, kasi it was during the pandemic pa rin to, it was 2020. I couldn't go to the delivery room. So I was just waiting sa, sa, sa room namin. And then, yung dinala na yung baby, I'm like, 
color pink. <laughs> so, so, iba, iba, yung, iba rin yung feeling ng, you know, having a girl. Lalo na eh, two years in, I totally get when my guy friends would say na parang, pare, iba talaga yung lambing ng girl towards guys, towards the dad. And then, yeah, two years in, parang, ah, I totally get it now. I totally get it now. Na parang, opo, parang hirap, ang hirap pagalitan. Ano oh, years from now, pag narinig niya to, she'll know that she can get away with anything. <laughs> well, uh, yeah, well, hopefully she just, yeah, yeah. I mean, if mur- if murder happens, okay, let's talk about it, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> but otherwise, we're good. <laughs> but otherwise, we're good. <laughs> oh, so, hold on. You mentioned si Dude Astro. You call Astro Dudoy talaga. Yeah. We, uh, paano ba to? One of our angels here, si, si Ati Wangs, started those nicknames, those monikers. It started with Leon, called him Abadungdung. So, we call Leon, not Leon, he... Uh, he knows when you call him Abadungdung or Dung. Tapos nun, Duday, ganda-ganda ng pangalan ng alala, <laughs> alala na Loren, naging Duday. Uh-oh. And then, syempre, naging lalaki yung isa, Duduy. So, so yun yeah. na, it's stuck na. It's stuck na. Now, are there plans for another one pa? I, I think uh, uh, my wife is waiting for me to have the, uh, um, undergo vasectomy already. <laughs> Okay na, we're good. So your turn, your turn na, oo. M- my turn to be like, sh- 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 <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Um, I remember si Ia before, sabi niya, I think maybe that was when you had, I'm not sure if you, one kid pa lang or two kids na, but she always said na parang kailangan even, parang feeling niya it had to be an even number. Kasi kung wari, if you're on a plane or if you travel, hindi pwedeng odd number kasi paano yung isa, di ba, walang kasama. So kailangan even talaga. Yes, she uh, had a point there. She had a point uh, at that time. But if you think about it, when you go to, I guess, when you check in hotels, then medyo four kids, it's too, in, medyo, you, you can't live in one room na, di ba? Parang, uh-uh. but, yeah, but yeah, I mean, when they're kids, kaya pa. Di ba? Parang two, two. But then again, we'd like to think na uh, when when Primo um, reaches, you know, a certain age, di ba? Parang, you Siya rin magtutulong sa mga iba, uh-huh. sa young guests. Uh-huh. And so on and so forth. So hopefully that happens. And uh, nakikita naman namin na si Kuya Primo is really being a kuya na. Yeah, that helps. And recently, di ba, you traveled na just you and the two boys. I remember Iyo was saying parang she was gonna have some alone time with Duday and Astro. Dudoy. <laughs> yes, and Dudoy. Yeah, um, my siblings were over from the States because my brother was uh, was going to get married the following week. So they kind of planned on flying to El Nido. So I said, yeah, I'll bring my two boys. So it's, it was my first time to fly with the two boys. You know, six-year-old and a four-year-old. Kaya kaya naman. Wow, father of the year ka na talaga, Drew. Di, <laughs> grabe naman. Kaya kaya. They're, they're, they're not naman. They're, absolutely, they're not hard to deal with because they don't know what to do. Eh. You just have to, you know, feed them, give them baths. You know, just, yung isa naman, marunong mag-sipilyo mag-isa. Yung isa, parang sang side lang sinisipilyo. So, I mean, <laughs> Part of so, growing up. So, isang side mo na lang siya tutulungan. Pero hold on, Drew. I mean, I can imagine it must be so much harder now when you have to shoot for biyahe ni Drew, when you have to leave the house. Kasi lima, lima ang iiwan mo. Kasama siyempre si Ia doon, di ba? How's that working out for you? Paano ba ito? As a parent, you also want your me time. I think it's very important to have me time, lalo na when you have a lot of kids. And I think yung nagiging me time ko would be or is pretty much my biyahe. So I normally take biyahe ni Drew Wednesday, Thursday. It's funny na, okay, exit. And you're like, okay, whew, breather. But at the same time, and normally, kung wala akong signal, I just check their pictures pretty much. Of course, you you know, naturally miss them. So the overnight is just, you know, the right amount of time na you get your me time at the same time, wing uwi ka na. So when you when you come home, you're like, oh, I can't wait to see them again. So that it's I think it's it's a uh, it helps me with with the balance of things, and, and I think uh, Ian and I were very vocal about us having me time as well. So, Sharon, kuminsan parang she'll go somewhere, she'll do something alone because nga siya as parents, we 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 also need that so that we can have I guess a better time with the kids quality time, yung stress mo na wala na ng konti so that 
I guess yung demeanor mo and your attitude towards everything, lalo na when you enter the house, uh, is probably leaning towards the positive than the the other one. So kung maga parang somehow absence makes the heart grow fonder. <laughs> <laughs> somehow, just parang a, ganun just, ang you know, just a dose. Just a I dose. Think, just a dose. I, just a dose. Oh, I think I know what you mean. Because recently I was out a, um, a week for work. Although my daughter, she's so big na, diba? She's a teenager it's na. Super. Oh my goodness. Uh, teenager na siya. But parang when I got back, I don't, because I don't know the last time I traveled na hindi ko kasama yung family ko. So when I got back, parang we were all like, oh, I miss you. I miss you so much. Kaya So mga three days na, puro I miss you parents. So I'm waiting to see how long it wears out before, mommy, stop making me kulit. Yung mga ganon. <laughs> but ah. so right, does that happen with you na parang the minute you get back na they're so sweet and then after a few hours or after a few days okay kulit na naman <laughs> actually it's not just after uh, it doesn't even last a few hours it's <laughs> I, we I get it um and it's it's also coming from me like oh it's it's just natural for you to miss someone and then you're like you know we're at this point we're in the parang Shempre, the the physical touch, yun yung y- y- initial ano eh, diba? uh, wanting, the the hugs, the kisses. How are you? Y- you play with them, and I'm trying to probably explain how I am towards Ia then when I you know it's been a while na hindi kami magkita, and then we see each other. Of course, that physical touch is very important, but at the same time, with Ia naman kasi you can have like a uh, I uh, uh, a higher level of communication, but with the kids, pag young, I'm sure you guys, you guys are teenager na eh, so I'm guessing, parang you guys can talk about stuff more. Mm-hmm. Um, but with the kids, siguro primo pwede. Primo kasi you can really converse with na parang oh how was your, how was your ano how was your class? What was the best thing that happened yesterday? And then he's really gonna be he's the one thing great about primo. He's very vocal about what he wants to say. And he's very vocal about his emotions, which is for me more important. So I'm like, Papa, you know what? I got emotional when someone said this, and we're like, we're gonna try to like, you know, um, and we're like, oh, why, why, why do you feel that way? Why do you think you, you felt that way? Ah, uh, okay. And then we, we we discuss it further. At least we have that relationship with him at this point in his life. With the others, let's see. It might be different. <laughs> So, yeah. Uh, each kid kasi will be very unique, diba? So, I'm sure you'll have a mm. unique relationship with each one. All right. Wait, you know what? Since I'm speaking with you, the ultimate bihero, I can't pass up the chance to ask you, okay, among all your travels, gato na lang. I'm sure everybody has asked you what your dream destination is and where it is you still want to go. But I think my question would be, the way your family is set up now that you have four little kids, kasi syempre, 10 years from now, pag teenager na sila, you'll want to go somewhere else. But um, with the kids now, that their age, and with Ia, where would you want to go? Six of you. Where would you want to go all six of you? We have to be very practical and logical about trying to travel with four kids and then we still have like one-year-old and a three-year-old. It's going to be hard to enjoy properly. Like for example, diba, um, with Primo and Leon, you can just take them because they will actually enjoy. Like for example, we're thinking of know, what, what are they into now? They're into Super Mario. Huh, Super Mario. Oh, they're gonna they're gonna hit seven and five. So what if we what if we go on a trip tayong apat muna, going to Japan and visit, you know, Super Mario Land or whatever. Because the other two hindi pa nila ma hindi pa nila ma appreciate yan eh. At the same time, if we bring them along, it's gonna be hard for us to enjoy also with the two older mm-hmm. siblings. So I think we have to be very smart with regards to you know um these decision making when it comes to traveling but if it's if it's like all four of them um normally what we do is we bring the whole household so that <laughs> oh, yeah, so and it's it's going to be a land trip so that our angels also c- could also enjoy oh, like they also want, they also need some time you know to you know i don't know beach Normally we'd go to yun nga, Normally we'd go to uh, this resort in Bataan. It's our go-to place because it's it's quiet. It's it's, it's an old resort, but it's quiet. It's very convenient. Um, sanay na yung mga tao, and then the kids can play sa sand or sa grass. Normally that's our go-to. It's not as simple as ah we're gonna go coming coming anim lang. Kaya naman, but sayang eh sayang if we, if we don't have extra 
extra hands. I should probably ask you again in mga 10 years. Kasi kaya na, with, na kayong anim yeah, lang talaga. Oo. I think, yeah, absolutely. So, if ever, then I would ask the kids. Mag, magigets, magigets na natin yan kung anong trip nila eh. Oh, what oh, if, by then. W- w- by then, what if trip nila, sabihin na natin, I don't know if, because I'm, I'm, I'm trying to, you know, um, uh, relate the K-pop phenomenon coming from my good friend who has teenagers now. What if they want to watch like K-pop, whatever, in Korea? Then, okay, let's go. This is for you guys. Myeongdong na lang kami ng mommy more, whatever. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I don't know, diba? Or what uh-huh. if, you know, I want the, I want the, the Northern Lights. I want to check the, you know, Aurora, Aurora Borealis or whatever. Uh-huh. Oh, okay, let's go there. So it really depends, I guess, what they want. To do. Pamahal ng pamahal, no? Aurora Borealis, K-pop, oh, nga, medyo, it gets more yeah. and more expensive. <laughs> yeah, that's that's true. Although there are southern lights, ah. there are so, huh? many southern lights. So you can In fly the... to, you can fly, you can fly to New Zealand, which ah, is, which is, which is closer. Oh, oh, and closer, closer. And closer, and at, at least yung family ni, ni is also from Australia, so it's, you know, very, oh, very lapit close. lang. Oh, that's lapit nice. Oh, so, alam na natin. May options ka na. <laughs> I, I can probably answer in a more specific way. Feeling ko, all roads will go to New Zealand. Sorry. Oh, that's I, there, nice. I, I, I said it. And, kasi, we already brought Primo there when he was probably a year old, a year and a half. Ah, oh, even, even Leon ba? I forgot. That. Anyway, we did like a, a camper, RV, Southern Island, the whole... It's just, the best place to go. It's really the best place to go. And I think for all ages, kasi, kung summer, nice place. Kung, kung winter, it's also like a, you know, a, a snow destination. So yeah, definitely NZ. I can imagine you guys na, na naka-camper, ganyan, with all the four kids, parang pang postcard, di ba? Yeah. Diba? Oh, yung picture yeah. na yun. Parang yung picture ng royal family. They have a picture like that, eh. Oh, do William they? and Kate. Yeah, na parang in their ano, camping outfits. Oh, mga safari wow. style. <laughs> Without, without the drama, without the internal yeah. drama of everything. No? Yes, exactly. What's your favorite, ano, favorite destination ever in the, in, oh, ano, in the Philippines? Oh, that's such a tough question. And you know that that's the, I think you're the 100th person to ask. 120th <laughs> thousand person to ask me that. No? Um, oh, no, I don't know. I don't know. Baka it's so hard. Nagbabago, hindi ba nagbabago yung answer mo every year? Or each time somebody asks, I'm sure nagbabago yung sagot mo. There are like solid locations wherein it's it's not because of the tourist destinations. It's probably because the people I talk to na tumatak. Or probably because it's a place wherein it takes a while for you to get there. It so it so it means na na screen na yung mga tao, so wala na masyadong tao doon and and maybe I want some peace and 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 you know just like quiet time with me or with 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 my wife only or I'll probably answer a different location when we'll bring all the kids. So uh-huh. I, it's it's so hard to be specific really. <laughs> And sometimes I throw back the question to the, the person who asked that question. If it's personal, it's hard. But if it's like they're asking, Hey, Drew, saan pwede, pwede pumunta? Ikaw lang ba? Ikaw at ang partner mo? Uh... Romantic ba? Um, kung kayong dalawa ba, gusto nyo, hinahanap nyo ba adventure, uh, you know, ab- adventure or hinahanap nyo yung laid back? Um, kasama nyo ba yung mga anak nyo? Ilan taon yung mga anak nyo? Yung mga anak nyo, gusto ba nang get... So parang... Uh-oh. It's so complex. So speaking of uh, um yung mga biyahe, I'm sure may mga lugar na dalawa beses mo na naputahan or more. I mean, <laughs> the, how, what is it like parang going to a place for the first time and then yung mga binabalikan mo na lang like for the second, the third, the fourth time? Undoubtedly. Uh, and I keep on parang, I guess, expressing my emotions, you know, with, with my crew and the staff. Ganda talaga ng Pilipinas, no? Yung parang, sometimes you just have to pause and you're like, I've been doing this for 18 years and you're like, it still amazes me na parang, ang ganda talaga, no? So, even though, yes, napuntahan na namin yung mga locations na finature namin a few years back, yeah, sometimes, you know, you just, yeah, it's second time, third time, fourth time, it's still really awesome and beautiful. And for the other, other locations naman na napuntahan na namin in generally, may magpa-pop up na isang tourist destination na bago. So, you know what I mean? Parang, kahit na pumunta kami sa lugar na yun, uy, 
may negosyong, you know, nag-start and then we're featuring this oh, agritourism farm na sinet up lang na during the pandemic. So, I don't know, uh, yeah, most of the time it's it's always like ang ganda talaga ng Pilipinas. Hindi pa rin ako nagsasawa sa trabaho ko. Uh, I'm still very honored to do this travel show to be with my crew and staff which I've been with for the longest time and not to be stuck in the office. <laughs> you know? <laughs> to be out. Pero naman yeah. kasi 18 years, I didn't realize it's been 18 years that you've been doing Biyahe ni Drew. No, the Biyahe ni Drew we've been doing I think okay. for, so Biyahe ni Drew for almost, for like more than a decade ba? And the, the, we started with Balik Bayan. Remember? Ah, uh, yes. Balik Bayan with you. I remember that. <laughs> In Mandaluyong, right? In San Mandaluyong. Juan, yes. San Juan. Uh, and, uh, San, Juan. Uh, San Juan and Mandaluyong. Uh-oh. San Juan and Mandaluyong, we went to your house pa nga. We yes. talked about diba, stuff. But that started 2000 and, when did QTV start? 2005? 2005, yes. 2005. There. So we started 2005. Okay. So, so that's that's pretty much almost, 18 years, yeah. Oh, nga. Wow. Yeah, so 5 years for Balik Bayan, 2 years for weekend getaway and then the remaining for for Biyahe Drew. So so yeah, pretty much 18 years of of doing a travel show or travel shows. But before you became a Biyahe Drew, how did you get into the industry? So let's uh, no, let's backtrack a bit. 18 years okay. of travel mm-hmm. travel show. But how long have you been in the industry? I was doing a Pole dancing kasi when I was in college. I'm just kidding. Yeah, just one. Just one. <laughs> yung talaga yung start mo eh. <laughs> yung talaga yung start. Alam mo, yung talaga ako nakita eh. Sabi ko, ito yung future ito maging binero. Parang um, ikaw siguro yung napanood ko. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> Nanonood pa lang. <laughs> yeah, yeah nanonood ka pa lang. Yeah, alam mo, during my ano, eh, Atenea breaks, I go to ano eh. Um, I, <laughs> para nga ba, um, it, it, uh, I started um, because, di ba, I, I was doing a, I was doing account management work for an advertising agency. Oh, I did um, not know that. Na corporate ka pala. I did corporate. I did corporate. But ironically, I never really wanted to be on cam. I was always behind. I wanted to shift now from accounts to creatives. Because uh, I was hanging out with the creatives, copywriter, you know, uh, those art directors and stuff, graphic designers. I love the vibe, love the love the atmosphere. Masadong parang tight yung mga accounts. Eh. So parang dun ako. Anyway, I, I mean, I was the only guy pala sa accounts then. Anyway, but parang I was asked to do a VTR, and then sabi ko, uh, no, I I don't really want. But anyway. I did, and then I, they got me for a uh, shampoo commercial, and uh, it turned out to be a pretty big campaign, and I think that kind of snowballed. It became a series, and at that time, my dad was uh, a lawyer, I may he rest in peace, and his, one of his clients kasi, uh, was Tito Boy, who is currently my manager since day one. So I Tito Boy, I do Drew. Ano, sumag, 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 subukan na, sako, dito boy, yung ka na naman, nagtatanong ka na naman, alam mo naman, hindi, sige na, kasi, andyan yung commercial mo, sakayang. And then my dad goes, oh nga, why don't you try it out? So sabi ko, alright, I'll try it out, fine. Yun, that kind of started it. I'm trying to remember what that shampoo commercial was, hakang parang hindi ko maalala. Hi, I'm Howie Severino. My colleagues and I developed this idea of creating a podcast as a safe space for sharing insights with leaders and interesting people across diverse backgrounds. I've been a journalist for 33 years as a newspaper reporter, news anchor, online editor, and documentary maker. But podcasting is fresh territory for me. Check out the Howie Severino Podcast, an original for GMA News and Public Affairs. New episodes will stream every Thursday. Listen for free on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, and other platforms. Empower yourselves and be safe. I'm trying to remember what the shampoo commercial was. Ha, parang hindi ko maalala. It was the pare commercial. Um, so my ah. pa, my pare was the sister of Mariel. So wala pa si Mariel sa showbiz nun. We'd call each other pare. Pero parang kami, pero pare. So that was the pare series. Uh, I remember um, that na now. Uh-uh. There, there. So that kind of that started, I guess, my on-cam gig. 
Your on cam career. So you never wanted. What did you want if you didn't want to be an no. on cam guy? What was your uh, parang ultimate dream or ultimate career goal? I never, I never really had an ultimate dream. Dream. It was more of like just the same when I, I, I started college. It was like, all right, uh, do whatever it is that makes you happy. So I was leaning towards. I took up psychology and business management. When I'm when I was majoring in psychology, I'm like, oh my goodness, this is this is not for me. So I I kind of dropped psychology from business management. I I said I wanted advertising now from the get go, mm-hmm. but no, I had no slots. So the next best thing was marketing. Took up marketing management. Yun. I still went to the advertising route, not to the client side. So and then you ended up here. You ended up here on TV. Yeah, there you go. I'm sure there are no regrets, right? I mean, you look like you have so much fun doing everything that you do. Super. Super. I mean, I guess it's also luck. Or it could really be, I mean, if you believe in fate, like everything happens for a reason. Or at the same time, the mindset of do what makes you happy mindset is probably working for me. Because if you're not happy anymore, then to go do other stuff, you know? So yeah, until now, it's still it's still pretty much my mindset. and And hopefully the kids also get it, you know? Uh-oh. Like it shouldn't be about the work. I mean, you should you should enjoy the work or you whatever it is that you're doing. So yeah. So alam ko na Drew. In your case, it's not just luck. Eh. It's luck and a lot of good looks, snacks. <laughs> oh no 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 no! I remember. I think I, I'm not sure if it was your interview with Ia because Ia's go, Ia goes. Huh? <laughs> ah, hindi ko masyadong trepichure ni Drew no. I'm like, oh, I didn't know that. <laughs> I found it that now. <laughs> Buta yeah. na lang kasal na kayo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yung nagpa-lasics nga siya after a few years. Sabi ko, uy, baka magulat ka sa kung anong itsura ko, ha? Pag naayos na yung mata mo. So, malabo. Yeah. Malabo pala mata ni Ia before. <laughs> <laughs> malabo. <laughs> <laughs> Nung nagkakilala kayo. Oh, speaking of, di ba, when you first met Ia, that was on Click. Eh, syempre, eto nga, eto na yung mga messages. So, di ba, heartthrob na heartthrob si Drew sa Click. Was Click your first TV show? Yeah, it was It was pretty much my first acting stint. It's a good thing that it it, it really, the show really lasted. I mean, when I entered, the show lasted for like a year. <laughs> Probably I was part of that downfall, no? but drama acting is not really my thing. I did a couple of, like, you know, comedy and, you know, and that that's my I kinda like it that setup doing comedy. I did I did the show called Holy Smokes. I totally forgot. But anyway, it was a <laughs> sitcom? Was it a sitcom? I, yeah, it was a sitcom with, with oh my god, with going bananas guys. Oh um, all together now. All together ah, okay, now. So, okay. All together now. Coming mga ki- coming mga kids, kasama pa ako sa kids by the way. Uh kasama ko si Goodness gracious, I forget the names. <laughs> <laughs> hindi hindi mahahalatang edad dito Drew. <laughs> I know I'm so sorry, but Angel Angel si Angel. Angel okay Angel. <laughs> oh so si Valerie okay Valerie, Valerie Conception and then and then and then Maggie Maggie Maggie, Maggie Wilson the, the oh. lead Johnny Delgado uh, uh, Edgar okay. direct direct uh, direct Edgar Ortiz and Christopher De Leon. Christopher De Leon. Okay. But you know, Drew, you really have a funny bone. I mean, the funny genes are in you, de ba? So it wasn't hard for you to be doing comedy. I, I, you know what? I think it was not really hard. It was my lingo. So parang it, it wasn't tough to do bits with these, you know, comedic greats. Uh, it was like I was in... Oh, these are my peeps. Like, you know what I mean? But remember, I did was up, was up on Studio 23 with Bong yes. and and Tony. At that time, because I was starting out, and I remembered, like, I guess a few months in, Bong, of course, became my close friend. Bong was like, bro, hindi mo kami kailangan gayahin na. You have your own type of comedy, your own type of humor, and that's why they got you. So, that, medyo nagising ako dun, kasi parang, oh, nga, no, ba't ko sinasabayan sila? Eh, meron akong sarili. So that was that was part of my process becoming who I am because also with my hosting I I never I never copied anyone eh? because parang when people would ask me oh what's your style sabi ko my style I don't know when I have my microphone or without microphone this is how I talk to everyone like you know <laughs> to my kids to the, my to my friends to to everyone so 
I guess I'm not hosting. I'm just talking. Parang ganon. So I guess uh, yun, yun lang. That's that's part of the process of just be who you are and mm-hmm. and just do your own style or find your own style eventually. So when you were in high school or college, ikaw ba yung usually um tinatap to become you know hosts of programs or or no no but you know what and and I don't know because I'm not hyper aware at that time right but my close friends. I and mean, even since grade since grade school there's there's still my barkada when i entered when i when i'm i'm still here now diba in the industry they've always been saying na parang see ever since before we knew <laughs> huh? and like no what magulit ako yes but not like to host you know in front of thousands of people during you know events or i mean yeah kulit yes kulit absolutely but having the confidence to Talk in front of people was never really my thing. Even college, we had speech class in La Salle. You know, I'm oh. like, Ugh, I don't want to talk in front of the class. You know. Anyway, I guess it I just progressed into that. I guess I don't know. <laughs> but what was your persona about when you were in high school and college? Because I remember my friend. She said, "Oh, Pia, um, kasi mo pala sa show si Andrew." Said because. Huh? Sino si Andrew? <laughs> Kasi same batch tayo, P, di ba? Same, same batch tayo, di ba, P? Na, 2000 college, 96 high school. Yes. Tama ba? Ah, Or younger. Uh, so, 97, I graduated 97 high school. Mas bata ka pa pala sa akin. <laughs> uh, sorry. <laughs> One year younger. Oh. But at least abot tayo dun sa 2000s na college, di ba? Uh, abot, abot tayo. Abot, abot tayo, tayo. oo. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> Ayun, yeah. So, para sabi nila, si Andrew pala kasama mo. Kasi sino si Andrew? Drew Arellano pala. So, what was your persona before, in school? Ikaw yung makulit. Were you like more the athlete, the, the scholarly type? Oh, God, no. <laughs> <laughs> When I did Savior, grade school and high school were just really makulit. We had this group, and then they called us the Tropang Trumpo because <laughs> we're just a makulit. We're friends with everybody, but we're just makulit. You know, we're just very playful in a sense. We kind of studied, but we we play a lot. College, I think that's when I kind of started trying out new sports. From the get go, panaman, I played sports naman na with with my siblings when I was young na uh, golf, basketball, shempre, volleyball. College, I started doing dragon boat, table tennis training team. I also did roller hockey, and I did, of course, basketball also on the side. So, so brang dami kong ginawa ng nung, nung, nung college. Uh, I was just exposed to so many cute girls, and <laughs> <laughs> nandun talaga sila ano na sa sports sila the cute girls. Uh, Man, I I was talking to I was talking to my wife about this. I was like, "Kasi for savior, kailangan ka pumunta sa ika pa, 'di ba?" Uh-huh. Ito parang co-ed, like mind blown. What do you mean? <laughs> co-ed? It's crazy. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I saw so torpe. I was it's very torpe in college na parang Oh my God! Uh, there were a few friends na inya kaki- kakilala ko na may kaya kakilala nila yung girl and whatnot. And then the girl would be like, "What do you call that? And hindi antipati ko, but what do you? Parang hindi naman mansin or something." Oh, uh, parang snob ganon. Snob, yeah, yeah, snob. Oh. Yan. Like, no, nahiya na ako magai kasi whatever. Anyway, that's that became, I think. Yun yung, ganun ako nung college. Even college. Ah, yeah, so yeah, yun pala yeah. ang ano. So that was Drew Arellano back in... Uh, wait, did they really call you Andrew? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I was really Andrew. Andrew sa college talaga. And my grade school friends would call me Andoy. So I, I know my old friends. Andoy! Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> 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 yun yung telltale sign from which period in your life you met them yeah. or knew them. Yeah. Actually, I've always been curious and I keep forgetting to ask Ia. Or maybe I asked her, I'm not sure. But di ba, both of you are very active in sports. Sino ba? Was it you who parang encouraged Ia to get into sports or to be active? Or I, w- I guess it's not the other way around. Kasi nga, sabi mo, ever since high school and college, you've been very active na. But like like now, you're dynamic. Who pushes who when it comes to exercise? Actually, no one does. No one needs pushing anymore. It wow naman! Likes... Oh, it's pushing and pulling in baby making. <laughs> um... <laughs> 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 yeah, we're very active in baby making, you know. Reach the point wherein it is part of our daily routine to wake up. The first question would be, "What's your workout today?" So it's it's really like that, like whispering because kids are still sleeping. It's either "What's your workout today?" or "Come here." Yaring ganon. So <laughs> or di to nala time mag workout ganon. Di ting workout nata. Yes, I mean we wish, right? I mean four kids, right? Like come on. The kids all stay with you in the room. I- Ia comes home pa from Bente Quatro hours around eight forty, eight forty five, and normally I sleep now with with the three kids, Primo, 
Leon and Dudai, mga 8-ish. So we sleep really early. Okay. And may, may ano na yan, si Primo nandito, si Dudai nandito, tapos nun si Leon nandito sa, it's either on my chest or on my crotch. And it's the most <laughs> uncomfortable, comfortable. It's the most, wait, it's the most comfortable for a good number of minutes and it becomes really <laughs> uncomfortable. You know, it's a human, it's a, it's, it's pretty much like a, like this human weighted blanket. Oh, nga, wala na space for Ia. So when Ia comes home, he takes a bath, she takes a bath and then um, she gets uh, Astro and then they sleep on the side. Akala ko she'll take the place of... <laughs> yeah. yeah, sure. Like, come on, we scheduled it for like last couple of months. I don't know what's happening. <laughs> <laughs> Kailangan na talaga ng schedule with four ah, kids. Yeah. Do you have like date nights na parang parang we have to go out. We have to have a date night ganyan. Unfortunately, those date nights are lunch dates. But not naman unfortunate 'yon kasi syempre may 24 hours si si Ia. I don't know weekends talaga. We just like spend time with with the kids. Eh. So weekends are just really spent at home. So our dates would be usually when we record our podcast uh, kapag after a workout Monday. So we start the podcast probably around 10 or 11. And then if we ha- we still have time, we have our lunch date. Ah, much. that's nice. Going out, going out for lunch. Yeah, but, but very near. Because we live in Ortiga Center, so we can walk lang to podium. Oh. We can... Very, very ah, near. Ah, okay. That's mm. nice. Oh, so I... But I would think that your workouts are also your dates. No, no, no. No? Because <laughs> I, I work out, I, I have my, if, kahit now we go to the same gym or kahit whatever, we, I have my own workout. She does her uh, own thing. So you don't, you don't necessarily have like sessions together. We see each other. Like, kanina, <laughs> um, separate pa kami because I, sabi na natin, our gym kasi is, is probably like a kilometer and a half from here. I mm-hmm. ride my bicycle. She, she rides the scooter. Iba pa yung modes of transportation. So. Wait, I remember that because um I interviewed Ia and then we were shooting her workout and you guys nga arrived separately. And I, I I can't forget that because Ia was trying to teach me how to jump up on the box. Ah, hirap pala oh, nun. Yeah. <laughs> Grabe, intense nga kasi yung workouts. Hindi nga pala siya pwede maging date. Your workouts are medyo <laughs> intense, ha? No, but sometimes <laughs> dates can be intense too. You know what I mean? <laughs> Different kind of intensity. <laughs> Different kind. Sometimes one, sometimes ten. Sometimes three, sometimes seven. <laughs> Most <Yeah>. often ten. <laughs> Most often ten because it just lasts for 30 seconds really anyway. <laughs> that is the reality <laughs> of married life. <laughs> yeah. Yep, yep, okay. Yep. But, diba, so you mentioned that you and Ia also have a podcast. Um, how's mm. that working out? Hindi ba kayo, alam mo, um, ako ang fear ko dyan, working with my husband would be na baka mag kami. And then it's gonna be on record. Ay, alam mo yun, naka-record siya na nag kami. <laughs> so it, it was really, I kind of initiated the idea because I'm a, I, I am a podcast fan. I listen to podcasts and sabi ko, hey, that one line kind of changed how I look at things. And what if, like, l- what if, like, my conversations with my wife can alter uh, for the better, you know, people's mindsets on certain things. And at the same time, it's it's also a great medium for us to talk about things, to co- to communicate and to be, you know, better people and hopefully better partners or better, be- better parents too. At the same time, if we can share what we know that's been working for us, then naman it can work for other people. It's also like, it's it's like a, it's like a journal of some sort that, Eventually, the kids, if they're very interested to know, you know, what we thought of, uh, you know, about a certain topic at that era. So, we know that ten years from now, parang they're like, hmm, I want to listen to Mama and Papa. It, it's it's pretty much like a journal of some sort. So I asked Ias, I go, hey, can you give me one hour of your time once a week, and let's just let's just talk about stuff, you know, let's just talk about stuff. We don't, sabi ko, don't care about. Don't care about the the lessons. Don't care about the views. We don't care about anything. Just just we just talk and record. So yeah, that's that's how it started. And um, so far, you've been enjoying it, I'm sure, because your listeners enjoy it. Don't get me wrong. Oh my God, we're like sometimes like what you mentioned, diba? You you were scared <laughs> na baka magkaroon kayo ng conflict. May konting may konting <laughs> roughing ano, diba? <laughs> Nangyari niya ilang best na parang. Wait, what do you mean? You <laughs> or may mga times naman na, oh, I didn't know that you felt that way about me. Yung ganon. So parang, uh... sobrang eye-opener and 
see, parang sabi ko, this is a good thing. You know, even though we have conflicts, we talk about stuff. We're, we're trying to vocalize our emotions para at least kahit papano, hindi na yung tipong, oh, dapat alam mo na yan, di ba? Sometimes, that's what people think, eh, na parang, no, I assume that you know it. But yung pala, it's just as simple as saying, no, this is how I feel about whatever or this is what I think about whatever. So, kind of helps, it really does help our, our our relationship as, I guess, husband and wife and father and mother. Lalo na, parenthood is not easy. So, we talk about these things too and how we can try to help one another. Like, kung minsan yung isa mainit, yung isa hindi pwede mainit dahil nga, alam mo yun, parang isa naman, good cup, bad cup. Yeah, I mean, it, this is part, part, it's part of the process of parenthood. But the, I think the podcast is really helping us trying to be very specific and trying to allocate more attention so that we can be better people. I like how you put it na it's like a journal. Oh nga no, I mean, I never thought of it that way. But it's like you're taking down notes nga, di ba? And something to look back on that the kids can parang dig for in the archives when they're older Absolutely. na. Absolutely. That's nice. Congratulations because I know the podcast is doing very well. Because your topics din kasi are so interesting. Sino ba nag-iisip ng mga topics ninyo? For the first, uh, okay, so I, I, I set up this like small team just to start the show. Eh? That, that, apparently, that's the hardest thing to do, starting the show. I asked for, you know, a, a friend, uh, you know, an EP friend to help me try to write down and list down the the topics. I have someone to edit the video. I have someone to edit the audio. It's it's really a small team, but parang we kind of got the flow na. Uh, our EV friend said, "Oh, kain yun yun, bye bye." <laughs> <laughs> so in terms of like thinking about the topics, kami siya kami ni Ia. So what do you want to talk about today? Then ah, let's talk okay. about let's talk about something that would make us really think. And another topic na medyo sobrang mababaw lang. So, okay. I mean, ganun. Yeah. So, pang balance. Ang balance lang ba? Kung baga parang manunod ka ng succession tapos nun panghugas mo friends. Alam mo yun? Or <laughs> Last of Us and then The Office. Parang panghugas lang. <laughs> Uy, bakit napapaisip rin ako sa The Office tsaka sa friends ha? Just kidding. <laughs> Laka lang. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Okay, I get what you mean, the comfort viewing, ganyan. Well, anyway, Drew, um, like I mentioned kanina, this is our Father's Day special. It's our Father's yeah. Day episode. Medyo I forgot along the way na Father's Day episode pala to. <laughs> Just kidding. Oh, yeah. oh, <laughs> but anyway, okay. it's our Father's Day episode. We all see, I mean like I see from your social media posts, even Ia's social media posts, parang uh, how how much fun you're having as a dad and how, how cool you are at being a dad. And you mentioned earlier that like what your love for kids you got it from your dad what are the other things that you picked up from your dad that you learned from your dad that you're able to translate now into your relationship with your kids uh i, I guess it's uh no not just the the playfulness but also you know some some snippets some words of wisdom that i i i'm bestowing upon tila primo with with regards to you know if they're having a bad day it's i i, I was a teenager at this time but I was really having like the worst day, and then my dad goes, "Okay, um, then you'll you'll have better days." I'm like, sometimes you just need someone to tell you that line. Sometimes, cause say you're just like in a rut, like feeling so down, and you think that the the world the world's gonna end and everything, but you need someone who you look up to that plainly and briefly and casually says it's going to be better days i mean you know so that's one i guess there's nothing like and and and, and primo gets this and i think and i cuz he's doing it's so funny primo's like a joker now like he's he's doing puns he's like hey papa what do you call ganyan 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 what it's ganyan huh is that good <laughs> And, and, it's like, and it's like I love it I love it and it, it becomes you know when there is humor and and just like I guess comedy and laughter within the household the household becomes light and you know I'm, I'm not I mean it's not the man like sweeping things under the rug because of I know but but it, it is really part of our culture here which i i grew up in also na talagang we just really joke around even with my sibs now it's just like when like kakasama lang namin because nga my brother just got married we're like goofballs 95% of the time so 
And you know what I mean? So it, with that, impossible hindi ko madala dito sa household na yan. And I'm sure like even with with my crew and staff, they do, I mean they know like the whole dynamics of of Biyahe ni Drew as well. That's why I feel ko rin makulit lang and it's very light ren to to work in the show because nga of of that culture na parang it should be light and 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 bubbly and happy and fun. And uh, feeling ko yun din yung yun din yung nakuha ko from my dad and hopefully yun din yung nakuha ng kids ko from me. And we see it. We see it. Actually, just, you know, any conversation with you, I can feel the bubbliness. <laughs> it translates. <laughs> uh, so, so we will take advantage of uh, the bubbliness and the lightness uh, before we let you go. We yeah. have like a really quick game lang. The game is called Papa Do. Papadu. You know, Papadu. Papadu or Mapapano. <laughs> oh. If you're, I'll ask you a question. If your answer is yes, Papadu. Papa if your answer is no, Mapapano. Okay? Oh, simple lang. No. Okay. Yeah, Mapapano. All right. First question. Sasakay sa roller coaster kasama ang kids. If they want to, then Papadu. Because it's their first time, then Papadu. But I hate. Roller coasters, man. I don't like so. If it's <laughs> ako, I'm gonna be riding alone. The mom loves the roller coaster thing. Oh, oh, uh, absolutely. The the mom loves the. Ro- but if the kids ask me, wala ako magagawa. Wala ako magagawa talaga. I mean, sila talaga yung ano ko eh. Wala ako magagawa. I mean. Eh, grabe. Drew, I would never have guessed na ayaw mo sa roller coaster. Parang in my mind, ikaw yung tipo. Pag yung lumabas yung picture from the roller coaster, parang ah, happy, smiling, ganyan. I have a problem with multi-direction. Skydiving, no problem. Like one direction lang yun eh. Oo. Okay. Oo, oh, oh, walang problema. Pero pag multi-direction na, so naisip ko, ah, hindi ako pwede maging astronaut. Hmm. <laughs> okay, pero pero nag shoot ka na on a roller coaster. I mean, na uh, yung wala kang choice, kaya mo mag shoot on a roller yeah, coaster. Yeah, no, no, I okay. shoot. Probably not shoot, but I've done I've done major roller coasters naman in my life when I was a kid, and that kind of you know you keep on trying, and you're like, ah, this 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 is not for me physically. Yung uh-huh. mapapasu ka ka and you did not enjoy. Uh, okay, oh, so wag na lang. Yeah, so, Sige. Parang wag na lang. Na si Ian na lang. Oo, si Ian na lang isama Oo, nila. Ian na lang. <laughs> okay. How about, ay, ang hirap nito. Fasting for 20 hours. Oh, oh easy. Talaga? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it's that Papa do. Papa do. Wow. You mm. really do that? Or um, only if you have to? I do that on a, on a, on a, pretty much on a daily basis, but not 20 hours. Probably I do 20 hours once or twice a week. Ah, uh, so what's your regular? This is intermittent fasting, tama ba? Mm-hmm, what's yeah, your um, regular? My regular is my last intake of anything caloric uh, is uh, 8 p.m. Mm-hmm. And then I normally have my first meal uh, lunchtime around that time. So yeah, pretty much 16, 8. So 8 hours of uh, intake. Pwede na rin yung 8 hours. Oh, and the so eight hours of choose. sleep pala yung iniisip ko. Oh, and then, mal- yes. baliktad pala. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's, you know, so, we, when we sleep around eight-ish, wala, yun nga, I, we wake up mga five-ish or six. I just I just drink my black coffee and then mm-hmm. my my first meal now would be yeah, lunchtime. Wow. Okay, so it's a papadu. How about this? <laughs> Nako, eh, sinabi mo na kung ano oras ka natutulog. Matulog ng 12 midnight. Oh, no. When was the last time you slept ng midnight? You slept past midnight. When I had to do, uh, when I had the lock-in taping in Thailand for about a month uh, last October. And I kind of conditioned my mind that there were a few nights that work ended 2 a.m. But on a regular basis, oh hell no! I'm so big uh, on uh, like just trying to extend our our life, trying to track the sleep, trying to eat healthy, trying to be active, trying. To, we we just want to just. You know, have a good, how should I say this? A rhythm, a routine mm-hmm. that one needs to follow. So sleeping late at night talaga is not for me. So mm-hmm. if you, if you have, let's say you have no choice, you go to a wedding ganyan, and you sleep late at night, do, do you automatically still wake up at 5 a.m. the next day? I will say yes because my kids will wake me up. Ah, okay. <laughs> Kasi maaga sila gumising. All right. Mm-hmm. Oh, this one. Oh, last na to. Papa do or mapapa no? Uminom ng malamig na beer after a long day. Papa yes. Papa <laughs> yes, papa yes. What's your cap? Hindi naman siya daily basis eh, di ba? 
daily basis naman siya. Yun ah, yung, okay. ano ko, yun yung reward ko and that's why parang there's like a balance. I, I, I hope, hopefully I hit that balance dahil I don't eat sweets na nga eh. I'm, that's not my thing eh. He has the sweet tooth. I'm, it's not my thing. So parang reward ko na lang nga sarili ko would be like a good probably, you know, glass or a few glasses of red wine or some single malt or some gin on the rocks. You know, just to like set the mood and uh-uh. ah, inhale, exhale. So that's your nightcap. It is. It, it is pretty much my nightcap around uh-uh. six p.m. and then <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, so alam natin, mag-isa ka lang with your nightcap kasi by the time, Ia's already on her way to 24 horas. Oh, oh she, she doesn't drink. She doesn't drink at oh, all. Oh, at all? Okay. At all, at all, at all. She only drinks water and sugary drinks. <laughs> okay. Oh, there's a balance somewhere there. <laughs> there's a balance somewhere there, yeah. yeah. All right. Nako, Drew, thank you so much for uh, taking time out to be with us. And before we talagang let you go, uh, baka you have lang a message for um your supporters, those who have been with you since the start of your more than 18-year-long career. <laughs> and also for um all those, you know, those who really just look up to you and, and Ia, your parenting style, Um, what's your Father's Day message for them then? Even before I mention anything, it puts me in a very uncomfortable situation when someone says, oh, the people who are following you because it, you know, we discussed this community and parang, there was a point in time where I was really comfortable being that person. That person when you know people would ask for autographs, I'm like, are you sure? No, not me. Are you, why? I mean, so I, I, I was really uncomfortable you know, in the start, <laughs> but eventually you know, like, Yay, you gotta like accept that role. That that's who you are. Like and then which I did, the help of her and then so I like I'm kinda like more accommodating now, which, which I totally get na, na parang, Oh, okay. He is explaining uh, na parang, don't you get it? They don't see you as artista, they feel that they know you. You're like a friend. And sometimes when they say when someone shouts Drew, and then I look, the face is not familiar, and I oh I'll always think because they call me like pare, parang it's like an old friend. <laughs> You know, so y- yun yung sinasabi sa akin, Ian, na parang accept it, accept the role because you don't know that, yun nga, y- pe- people think, when they watch you, they think that you're like a friend. Parang gano'n. Uh-huh. That's, 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 that, that's the, you know, the mark that you leave, apparently. So, I, I, di ba? Of course, I don't, I don't think of these things, eh, di ba? Parang I don't think, I, don't, I really don't think of fans. It's so cringy for me because I'm not artista. <laughs> you know what I mean? You, you get this, P. Di ba? Parang, yeah, if it's, if it, if it's Mateo Guticelli, if it's Jerry Corsales, di ba? They're like, they're, they're artistas. Uh, they're like, but ano, Drew but, Ariano is right there with them. You know, I, I, I kind of like cringe. And, but anyway, if, if, if ever nga, like what I mentioned, if, if ever people get something positive out of my conversations with my wife, uh, in the podcast, then ROI na. ROI na kami. Return on investment na kami. Dahil, I, I think we've reached that age where in, we're so blessed now with our lives na parang, it's, it's really about giving back whatever it is we got. I guess to the fathers out there, just, uh, yeah, you can't, no one can be the perfect parent. Uh, just try your best and constantly trying to, to, to realize your, your mistakes and what you lack pa as a parent so that you can you, you can progress to be a better one. And I think constantly that's what we're striving for. Uh, and um, if you have a partner nga, kasi I'm lucky that I still, diba, not all fathers have, you know, uh, a partner that, that they can talk to. What if you're a single parent? So I'm lucky enough to have, you know, Ia, this, this so-called parenthood uh, to you know manage everything. If if ever you do have a partner, yeah, it's important to just try as much as possible communicate to one another. And you guys need to be good in order to have a strong foundation. If the parents are not good, then panapain the kids. So that's that's my take, I guess, coming from experience. So yeah. Oh, thank you, Drew. Thank you so much. Me, pero medyo na stuck ako dun sa may humihina autograph mo. Autograph talaga, di ba selfie na ngayon? <laughs> yeah, oh nga, oh my god. Oh nga. Oh, de, yeah, no, no. I know, no, but but before, before. Okay, just, before when you started, oh, no, no. when you first started. <laughs> yeah, no, before para parang what? Are you sure? <laughs> 
<laughs> but but now yeah ah uh, yeah uh, selfie selfie hey okay, so sa mga nakikinig sa atin next time pag nakita niyo si Drew sa mall ganun lang tawag niyo sa kanya pare para ano <laughs> diba <laughs> you engage in conversation oh. correct 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 all right correct. Drew thank you so much happy happy father's day i hope you enjoy um your father's day treat from Ia and the kids whatever that may be Hey, if it's a Father's <laughs> Day for my wife, then hule <laughs> mole. Um, no, really. Thanks for having. Uh, thanks for having me, P. Uh, it's been it's it's been a great. Uh, it's been such a long time since we we talked to each other since we saw each other. But uh, thanks for having me. Thank you for being with us. This surprise was planned by the team of Nikki Del Mundo and Aubrey De Los Reyes, edited by Shirley Paghiligan with the wonderful people of GMA Integrated News. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Till the next surprise!